rating was reduced by a notch to ball. Whoa. Yeah, all right. Now this game has gotten interesting. Stay cool. Well, this changes things. Ah, economics, man. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Start see pictures, ain't you? Every day we, we have, of course, a little bit extra of concerning news. Hello, folks. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. What the shit is going on with oil? Well, good Sunday morning. Have your cup of joe. Your buttery and flaky croissant heavily buttered, and swallowed down the downgrade of Saudi Arabia. What does this mean? It's like a chess, right? And it means that a chess move has been made, and the grade is down, because there has been an oil slump. I don't know if you've heard. I've made several videos on the subject. Yeah, I did. And here's the thing, yo, is uh, the markets have never really reflected the money lost and the total shitting on the bed of petroleum. Or fossil fuel. Though Sage likes to say that they never actually found fossil in the oil. So, there you go. I got a real weird feeling about July. So I'd lay that out there. Um, so, we should have a party in July across the world. Maybe sooner. But either way, this could be bad news. Or it could be no news at all. What are Moody's ratings? Well, uh, they're pure fiscal fantasy, bro. They are pure fiscal fantasy. By Nicholas Parasi. It's like paradise. Without the D. Parasite. Without the T. We are in Dubai. Saudi Arabia. And two of its oil exporting neighbors in the Persian Gulf had their debt ratings cut by Moody's Investor Service. As the slide in crude prices continued to afflict the region's economies. Wait, I read that sentence weird. Saudi Arabia and two of its oil exporting neighbors in the Persian Gulf had their debt ratings cut by Moody's Investor Service. Asterisk, as the sliding crude prices continue to afflict the region's economies. Okay. First question, who is the biggest oil exporter in the world? Second question, who's the second biggest oil exporter in the world? Third question, who's the third biggest oil exporter in the world? All right then. And remember, somewhere down the line, a lot of people lost a lot of money. But due to the wonderful fact that money has more rights than human beings, we don't get to find out any of these transactions until uh, defaults have occurred. and then. She gets subpoenaed and lawyers show up and then everything gets way more expensive or totally, bro. The ratings firm over the weekend downgraded Saudi Arabia's long-term issuer ratings by a notch to A1 from Big A, Little A, 3, but maintained its stable outlook on the kingdom. Seems legit. Oh, man's credit rating was reduced by a notch to ball. Whoa. Yeah, all right. Now this game has gotten interesting. So, Moody's just dropped Saudi Arabia a notch to ball. And I, I can hear someone screaming out there now, like, no, I just dropped it a notch too flat. That was a flat earth versus brown ball earth joke, if you didn't get it. Like, economics is hilarious, dickweed. The fuck is wrong with you bitches? It's like you guys been crying and pouting and quitting for a couple years now. Why don't you pull that stick out of your ass and be the best you you can be? Ah, oh, you don't want to bet talk during an economics video? Well, tough shit, buddy. Maybe it's time for you to hear some shit. You don't want to hear in the first place. I know I ain't your mother, but I am your friend. So let's go. The collapse in energy prices from their peaks in the middle of 2014 has hit hard. The Gulf economies that rely heavily on the sale of oil to fund large scale infrastructure projects to accommodate their fast growing populations. Some of these countries have responded by implementing measures, including cutting spending. Wait, what? Really? We ain't talking about America. I don't think. Any facet of our government has cut spending since, like, 71 or sooner. I mean, that, that's great, right? Dick Cheney said deficits don't matter, right? And Dick Cheney was one of the greatest economists of all time. Uh, um, a asterisk, that's fucking sarcasm. Like, he was, he was not a, a great economist. As far, I mean, in my opinion, you know. But he's probably better than Paul Krugman, to be honest. A, okay, right. In the case of Saudi Arabia, whose economy is the largest in the Arab world, the country's budget deficit ballooned to nearly $100 billion in 2015. Okay, wait. So yeah, pretty much the deal was oil was at a dollar. And that oil should have always stayed at a dollar. Any profit made over that dollar was pretty much highway robbery. So uh, we got robbed with the mortgage-backed securities. And then we got robbed 
with false scarcity oil inflation? It's like, who ended up with all this shit? And how did that make anything better? Plus, the fuck are we gonna do now, man? These are real problems. And if at any moment any of these fiat currencies collapse, lawlessness will spark across the world. So we all need to sit down at the table and recognize it's a real problem that is a mathematical certainty. We don't know when. So we should begin to look at solutions to where Earth can come together as a family and avoid the total failure and collapse of our civilization. Because if there's one thing I'm here to help do, that's help avoid our civilization from destroying itself. Help mankind end the war versus mankind. Because I think Martians might be after us. Am I joking? Am I being serious? I don't know. Let's both think about it together. Because I'm so pissed off at this stupid article already. Then we're going to get to Moody's. You know Moody's? They had all the mortgage bank securities. They were AAA rated during the crash of 2008. Yeah, Moody's was like, yeah, all these things are like the most solid investment in the universe. They're like, they all failed. And we're like the triple Fs, you know? And Moody's was like, hey, dude, sorry. I mean, Moody's is great. Asterisk. I'm mad at you, Moody's. You know, it's legal. Asterisk. You know, that's the whole thing. Is nobody's even nobody's watching nothing, man. If, if uh, your church is profit-based, your government's profit-based, and your law is profit-based, like if everything's profit-based, the thing's gonna break, you know? You can't have a fully functional society that still exists somewhere in slavery and forced scarcity. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. It's like 7 in the morning, man. And I just found out they downgraded Saudi Arabia. And I had a bad feeling about the presidential seven and a half year mark. Usually, it gets weirder around then. So, keep your head up. Stay smart. Stay awake. Stay cool. It'll be cool first, though. What am I talking about? Nothing. All right. Peace out. God bless everyone. We're gonna make it through this. It's gonna get weird, but we will make it through. So, Moody's just dropped Saudi Arabia credit rating was reduced by a notch to ball. Whoa. Yeah, all right. Now this game has gotten interesting. Stay cool. Well, this changes things. Ah, <sighs> economics, man. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Don't see pictures, eh? Every day we we have, of course, a little bit extra of concerning news. Hello, folks. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. What the shit is going on with oil? Well, good Sunday morning. Have your cup of joe, your buttery and flaky croissant heavily buttered, and swallowed down the downgrade of Saudi Arabia. What does this mean? 